is Sarah and this is my introduction to surrogacy video. Um, in this video I'm going to introduce myself and um, how I got into surrogacy and kind of where we're at in the process right now. I had filmed this video previously um, actually almost two years ago at this point but my hard drive crashed and I lost the video so now I'm starting over. We're pretty far into the process already so um, it's going to be a kind of catch up. And I do have some future videos planned so that this one isn't so long. Um, so I'll just explain our process up to this point and kind of where we're at. Um, so like I said, I'll start with introducing myself. I am Sarah. I'm 25 years old. I live in Iowa. I'm married to Ryan. We've been married for five years and we've been together for 11 years. We have a almost five-year-old little boy and a two-year-old little boy. Um, we have two cats, an eight-year-old Russian Blue named Tilly and a three-year-old uh, mixed breed and his name is Dutch. Um, other than that, there's not a lot to tell you about myself. Um, so I can't really pinpoint exactly at one point in my life I wanted to be a surrogate. Um, when my husband and I decided to get pregnant with our first son, um, we struggled just a little bit. We took about a year to get pregnant, um, but then that time, a really good friend of mine um, struggled with PCOS and couldn't get pregnant, and we had jokingly talked about surrogacy between the four of us. Um, I think that that's where the seed started. Um, Thankfully, while I was pregnant with my first son, she ended up falling pregnant too, and she now has a four-year-old little girl. Um, um, after I had my first son, um, he was born in 2013, and in 2014, I became an egg donor. I had sort of talked with this clinic about surrogacy, but was not done having kids of my own, so surrogacy wasn't something I was ready to pursue. Um, and then in 2016, we had our second son, and I donated again in 2017, the beginning of the year. Um, in November of 2017, my husband and I sat down and we talked. We um, decided we were done having our own children, but I told him that I really, really wanted to do surrogacy, and um, my husband agreed with it. We talked about you know, everything before we decided to do it. And then in November, I did the application and sent it in for a clinic here in Iowa. And I want to say it was probably March 2017 um, when I heard back from them. I misspoke earlier. It was November 2016 when I did the application. And then in March of 2017, we um, sort of started talking with the clinic. So in the application that I did, uh, my application was about 40 pages long, and I'm only speaking from my experience. I don't know how other clinics do this, um, but this is just how it went with our clinic. So other people's experiences will be different. Not everybody will have to do the things that we did or might have to do more than we did. Um, but again, this is just from my experience. So I had to include um, a medical history, a family medical history, I had to, let's see, it's been a while so I have to think about it, <clears throat> there's 40 pages, I had to talk about things that I would be okay with when it came to this, you know, new pregnancy and things that I wouldn't be okay with, I had to go into detail about my mental history, my medical history, I eventually had to get records from both of my prior deliveries, um, and then we included some pictures in our profile. And um, I wrote a short letter to the possible intended parents. So from the application, we went on to the phone interview. And then um, from the phone interview, we set up a home visit. And the reason for a home visit with this clinic is just to make sure that um, we meet st certain standards. So our home had to be a safe environment for me and my kids. Um, if we had pets, they had to be up to date on shots. They had to have food. There had to be a fire alarm on each level of our house and a smoke detector, um, CO2 detector in each of the bedrooms of our house. So she came out, she did her inspection, checked our cupboards, checked our fridge, 
made sure we had everything that we needed on this list. And then um, from there we waited a little while to finally hear that we were accepted by this, um, this clinic to be a surrogate. So from there we went into the matching process and we were told that there was no families in Iowa currently looking for a surrogate so that it could take a while for our matching process. Um, and it can take a long time kind of in general. Um, this surrogacy isn't a quick thing. It usually takes a certain amount of time. So we waited, um, and for the matching process, they take parts of my profile and match them with the intended parent profile. So we have to have um, similar values, similar goals. Um, we have to be okay with the same things. Um, and then, you know, they just really break it down so that we're getting the best match possible. And then I want to say that it was June of 2017 when we told that we were told that we had matched with a couple. They sent me just little bits of their profile that they had done. <clears throat> and then from there we sat down and we talked about whether or not we wanted to move forward with a Skype visit so that we could get to know them a little bit. Um, we decided to go ahead with it. And in the end of June of 2017, we set up a Skype between them, and my husband and myself, and two of the girls from the clinic. And then, um, then we had to mutually agree on one another. So they had to agree to accept me as our surrogate, and I had to agree to accept them as the intended parents. And thankfully we did. Everybody agreed. Um, and I won't um, say their names in these videos, but I will talk about them often, and I will refer to them as W and J um, for their first initials. And W and J are from New York, and um, but both have family in Nebraska and Missouri because that's where they grew up, so they wanted a Midwest surrogate, and then that's kind of how we got matched. So after the matching process, we had to set up um, like a medical screening process and in September of 2017 my husband and I had to fly to Connecticut for a whole bunch of testing and I'm going to do a separate video on that because there's um, a bit that goes into that and then we have um, pictures and stuff that we'll share and then from the medical screening that was kind of the ultimate yes or no the reproductive endocrinologist could say no she's not good she, you know she, we can't use her and the psychologist that we met with as well could say no, and then the process would be over from there. Um, but thankfully, you know, they didn't say no. They agreed that it would be okay. And I started my med cycle in November 2017, and we had an egg transfer in December of 2017. And it is currently April 24th, 2018. So um, it's been about a year and a half of this whole process and we're not done yet. We still have some time left. Um, when we, um, I'm going to do a separate video on the transfer day as well, our visit to New York in December because um, there's a lot that goes into that and there's some stuff I'd like to share with that. Um, but I am currently 22 weeks and five days pregnant. There is one baby in there and let's see, I have an OB appointment tomorrow. Um, cardiology appointment tomorrow and I'll get into that as well and we have a fetal echo next week on Thursday um, IVF pregnancies tend to have a higher risk for fetal um, cardiac cardiac um, problems so our doctor recommends a, an echo so we'll be doing that in a week and then more than likely that's the last time we'll see baby before baby comes so the parents don't want to know what they're having until the baby is born. I do currently know what the baby is, but I'll be, not be saying in the videos. I refer to baby as, um, you know, baby or I hate to call the baby it, but sometimes I'm sure I'll say it. So that's where we're at now. Um, I couldn't be more excited for this journey. I am so, so grateful to have this opportunity and I couldn't have asked for better parents for this little baby. These these people are just amazing. I can't even begin to explain. Um, so they want to be involved in this channel as well a little bit so um, I'm hoping we'll be able to include a video of theirs kind of like introducing themselves. Um, 
I'll be sharing some pictures. They are okay with me sharing pictures and um, ultrasounds and all the fun stuff. So I'm going to try to update as much as I can. Um, there's a lot of really big stuff coming up, but like I said, I plan on making some future videos to try to shorten it and then um, so we can focus on just like individual topics because there are certain things that I want to talk about individually. But here we are, April 24th, 2018, 22 weeks, 5 days pregnant. I will include a belly picture um, probably at the end of this video that I took on Thursday. And we'll see where this goes. This is going to be a, it's a journey, so I'm excited and I can't wait to see what's to come.